Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Let's Play video. I am the Beast NJ, otherwise known as D Marchese, and today I'm checking out Super Time Force Ultra on the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation Vita. It is new to PlayStation Plus this month. Uh, chances are you own a copy, all you gotta do is download it. Now with that said, this game is super fun. It's really challenging at first until you get the hang of the gameplay, but it's really, really, really fun. Uh, it's silly, it's very self-aware, it's super funny. Um, so here's our four players so far that I've unlocked. Um, now let's move on. See if I we don't need to see all this. Um, let's see where we are. Yeah, I've never played this level yet, so this will be really interesting. And by interesting, I mean horrible. Uh, so the whole game revolves around this time, time freezing and time rewinding mechanic. Um, so you start off with your player, and you'll kind of we'll kind of get the hang of this as I go along. Uh, I think this is a boss battle, which is not cool. Yeah, great. Good. Off, off to a great start right there. So the more players, uh, the more timeouts you use, the more players you're going to have on the field. Um, until they die. So, so they'll keep playing as they did every time you reset and keep doing the damage as they did until they die. Um, I'm having a really hard time <laughs> right now. timing this out okay well this is not working out so I'm gonna change up my strategy and use Jeff Leopard over here um, he's a grenade a grenadier I guess is how you pronounce that and um, the one the one thing you can do is pretty cool is you can actually like just build up a whole army of yourselves as you see I have a um, I have a whole 30 timeouts I believe I started this with uh, and you can use them all and just build up a whole army of players. So right now, if I wanted to, I can use all my timeouts and just make a whole a whole bunch of clock copies of myself until they die. And um, they'll keep playing from that point onward. So, like, if we rewind all the way back, let's see, if we rewind, I'm trying to explain this, but it's really hard. If I rewind all the way back here, Jeff Leopard's still going good. He's still doing his thing. Um, I can actually still bring in another player to play all that time. So Jeff Leopard's over there, he's doing his thing. Uh, of course I died though, because I didn't think that through at all. Um, let's try this. So Jeff Leopard's over there doing his thing. And now we have this guy over here, who wasn't there, he didn't exist here before. But he but he sure does now. Um, this, is, this is a really hard game to explain, and uh, I'm doing my best, but... Alright, so we took him out still, so we'll let him do his thing while rewinding and bringing in another player. So he's going to die. We have to bank on that from the get-go. So just let him die, and he'll take out this guy for us, though, in the meantime. Um, like I said, I've, ne I've never played this before, so I'm just trying to make do. But it's pretty standard. It's pretty, pretty much, you know, run and shoot and dodge right here, but... The whole time mechanic is really what this game is based off of. Um, with that said, it's not easy to get the hang of it. It, it really isn't. It's it's actually really difficult to get the hang of. Um, but you have all these different players. Right now I have four, and they all have different abilities. So I don't understand where I'm supposed to shoot exactly. I don't know. I guess like through those those yellow portals, right? I guess would be. Let's try this over. But it's it's so the guy on the end, he's got the minigun. The girl in the middle's got kind of a sniper rifle that can shoot through walls. And then the guy third guy in does a shield move. He I find him kind of useless, honestly. But I guess if you're more strategic, he's probably pretty useful. And then the last guy I unlocked was Jeff Leopard. He's got the uh, grenade launcher. So this is a boss level. I haven't played a boss level yet, but it's it's hard. That's for damn sure. The whole game in general is really hard. Um which didn't, I didn't really think was going to be the case. It, it didn't look that hard uh, when they were first promoting this game. Shit. But I'm kind of playing it a little bit smarter now that I'm learning. That's what this is all about. It's about learning the learning the patterns and using time to manipulate the situation at hand. Um, because, like I said, it's, it's really hard. Uh, so we have Jeff Leopard died there. Let's get another one because... I actually really like him for this. Let's 
Um, but it is in the vein of like your old school 8-bit side scroller. Shoot 'em ups, beat 'em ups, whatever you whatever you have 'em ups. Uh, now we have to figure out how to get across here. Oh, that wasn't so bad, I guess. Um, but this is my first encounter with a boss battle, then we're running out of time. It's hard though, man. This game is really hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. I I I like it. I'm enjoying it, but I do find the the learning curve to be substantial. Like it's not quite deterring me from playing it yet because I, I like what they're doing and I want to get better at it but it might just be me I'm just having a really hard time learning um, learning how to get good at it but I, I love the first couple of levels I felt were like great but now it's just like I don't know sometimes it's it's gruelingly difficult like the punishment I feel like does not really fit the crime so to speak the, like the difficulty that they that they introduced like in the beginning this is only the third level of the game guys so it's like it's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy how hard it gets honestly uh, Jeff Leopard's taking on this guy let's make another Jeff Leopard and come right over here in the meantime see if we can be a little bit faster I'm missing everything now I also don't really know where I'm supposed to be shooting Oh, right in the middle. Okay. Um, let's see. Jeff Leopard, you stay right there. You're doing it. You're doing it, Jeffy Lips. So we're really gonna burn through these timeouts. No doubt about that. That's alright, that's what they're there for, guys, am I right? So, see what I was saying earlier about how, like, you can really build a whole arsenal of people. Um, but the time just runs out so fast that, like, it's hard to get your grips on the situation. And there's, there's a lot happening on the screen, which makes it a little bit hard to focus. Um, and it's just, it's just really difficult. Uh, I like it though. That said, I don't mean to. I don't mean to sound like I don't like it. I do. I like it a lot. In fact, I just can't really find my my groove in the game, uh, and I'm not noticing any 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 time drops. So usually there are um, usually there are these tokens you collect that that extend your time. Um, there's there's one that slowed time down. But there's usually one that actually extends your time. And I'm not seeing those here. So they're really letting you uh, just solely rely on... Solely rely on your um, original amount of time here. Which is which just seems just crazy. Because it is very hard. So all said and done, we, we used 10 timeouts so far. Um, like, how am I going to do this? There's only... Okay, here we go. Just gotta be ready, I guess. Now the time's not really getting longer though, as you can see, it's like... You just have to go in for the allotted amount of time and it's, it's not enough. Um, so sometimes you will have to like restart the level entirely and just start from scratch and... and see where you went wrong and try to shave a couple seconds here sh shave a couple seconds there uh, it's difficult man it is it's it's really hard but you don't really ever know until you use all of your timeouts how successful you're gonna be so that's the that's the one thing I'll point out to you there um, but it does get frustrating for sure no doubt about that I'm not having much luck myself with this one today. Um, I'll probably just give this one more try here, and then I'm gonna call it for the day. Uh, short let's play, but it's just—it's just a trial and error kind of game, man. You—you you really have to. Really, every every second counts, you know. Um, and it's just a lot. There's a lot going on. So if you have like epilepsy, this might not be the game for you. If it, if it's visually cued. Uh, because there is so much happening on the screen at any given time. 
Uh, I do like it. It's just... I don't, I don't have the time or the patience to really learn the minutia of how to get good at it. Uh, but for those of you who do, check it out, man. It's a good game. And um, it deserves your time, for sure. Especially because it's free. And, uh, well, it's free with PlayStation Plus. So, chances are you probably already have a copy if you're on PlayStation Plus. Um, check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the game. And um, I'm done with this grueling level right here. I can't, I'm just bad at this game. No doubt about it. But uh, let me know what you guys think. If you're great at it, show me your show me your skills. I would love to see it. I would love to hear from you guys what you think about the game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to check out more Let's Play videos. And follow me on Twitter at the Beast underscore NJ to find out when these videos go live and when I go live on twitch.tv slash the Beast NJ. Uh, mash that like button, guys. Share this with your friends. And uh, I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Until next time, have a great day.